Now, before we get into today's video, I do want to announce that I am doing a giveaway. All right. Um, all you guys need to do is just subscribe to this channel like all my videos and watch all the videos throughout the end. And I will be giving away at a thousand subscribers, a brand new wireless OBD scanner. Um, this is what you guys are gonna be able to use on Beamer code. And for those of you who do not have a BMW, but have friends that do have BMWs, you guys could um, test this out on their cars or you guys can even make money off of this, to be honest. You could put up an ad on Craigslist and be like, uh, I could code your BMW with Beamer code and uh, make some money off of that. So. All you guys got to do is just like the video, subscribe to the channel, get me to a thousand subscribers and watch all the videos. Let's get into today's video. What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Vlizzog. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to code sports display on your BMW. Let's get into it. Now, just a little disclaimer. This isn't going to be for all BMWs. Um, once you download this app, you can see if you guys are capable of doing this. Um, I know for the older BMWs, I don't think you guys have sports dis sport display, but for the newer ones, this is a 2015 535. Um, this has the M package, so I already had the sports displays, but in Beamer code, you guys can code it into your car. Um, I know I've done it on a three series, a 328, a four series, a 428, and my car, and um, I'm sure you guys could code it into your car if it's a newer one. But like I said, not all cars have this. And of course, we're gonna be using the OBD Professional Solution. Um, this is the V-Gate version. I got this on Amazon for about $30. And it's just a wireless OBD port that connects to your OBD and connects to your phone. And nextly, we're gonna be using Beamer Code. Beamer Code is an app that allows you to unlock all of the hidden features in your car, in your BMW, um, Mini Cooper and also Rolls Royce. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna plug in the wireless OBD port into your OBD scanner, which is located down below. And then you wanna hop into your Beamer Code app, all right? Then you wanna press connect, let it connect to the car. And it's gonna give you a whole list of options, a whole list of different cars that you can code. So as you can see, we got the one series all the way down to the BMW i8 and also Mini Cooper. But in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the 5 Series. So we're gonna press continue, let it connect to the car. It's gonna read the VIN, the ECU, and all of that. Now on my car, I currently have um, the red sports display um, going, right? So you could change this between orange and red. I think stock from the factory, it's at orange, but Beamer Code allows you to change it to reds. And as you can see, anytime you step on the gas, it's a red logo or a red um, toggle. And your car is not gonna say 400 horsepower. The only reason why my car says this is because it is tuned. Um, the MHD tuned stage one, and that changes your sports display from 320 to all the way up to 440, 480 uh, torque. All right, so once you're in the Beamer Code app, it is gonna give you a whole list of different um, folders that you could press and it unlocks all of the, the features in your car, right? But we're gonna wanna focus on the head unit, so we're gonna press that one. Now it's gonna um, check all the coding and uh, give you all the information that the car is sending to the app, all right? So we're just gonna wait for this to load. All right, so once you're in the folder, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down until you reach sports, sport display, all right? So right now you wanna press, so you wanna press sport display. And as you can see, mine is currently on active. Um, if yours, uh, if you don't have sports display in your car, it's gonna say not active. So you just wanna hop into this folder and um, press active, all right? So we're gonna press back. And now to change the color of your um, sport display, you wanna go, down below where it says sport displays color press that and it gives you two options so you can change it from orange to red or red to orange i personally like mine on red because i think it looks more sporty like um but for this video since i already showed you what the red looked like i'm going to show you guys what the orange looks like so i'm going to press orange and then back uh sports display is already active and then on the top right corner you just want to press code all right, now it's gonna give you an important note telling you that if your car is um, is on or off, 
but on, but the power is on make sure that it's connected to the car i'm sorry make sure that you have like a battery terminal connected to the car and also if you get a phone call it may interrupt the coding which might break your ecu so just make sure you're on airplane mode um so we're gonna press start coding now it's preparing the code so once you press uh start coding your screen is going to go black because it's going to reset everything for you all right so this is completely normal don't be alarmed um it will go back to normal afterwards all right so the coding is almost done we're on 88 percent now it's finishing the coding resetting the ecu and your screen is going to come back any second Right, this is the end performance animation by the way. I'm gonna cut the music off. All right, so once you're done coding, you just wanna hop into your vehicle info, sports display, and as you can see, there it is. So this is how it looks from the factory. This is the orange one. I'm gonna step on the gas a little bit. Let me put it in eco actually, cause I don't want it to pop right now, so. So that's what the orange one looks like. Like I said, I personally prefer the red one because it looks more sporty. But um, then again, everybody has their own taste, right? So that was just a quick little video on how you code sports display into your BMW. And like I said before, this is not for all BMWs. Um, this is really for the newer ones. If your car doesn't have it um, already installed, you can install it using Beamer code, all right? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys leave a big like. It helps out the channel a lot more than you know it. Um, leave also a comment on what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.